Welcome to Starfield. This is Jim. We are back here again today. We're going to continue on with the Ryujin Industries quest line. Let's take a look. Of course, Ryujin Industries is a faction here in the game. And the mission we're going to take a look at today is called Sabotage. I need to meet Dalton to get the latest update on the mall. You can find him in his office on the executive floor. Let's go ahead. evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. The truth is worth the work. New machine was innocent. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogen was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. So we're okay with wrecking Imogen's life, self-esteem, and career if it's just for a short time. That's what you're saying our plan is, right? Pretend Imogen was the mole so Alaro won't get suspicious, got it. Good. Keeping Ularu in the dark is the key to taking her down. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Hey, with our program, Alaro gives me his yours. No way she'll frame Sako too. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. Okay. After you, bud. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Yes, the machine confessed to working for Infinity LTD. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Well, of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Can't blame Dalton for this. Watch me. <laughs> Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. Nice job, Lyndon. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. 
I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. Performing legal human trials at the clinic. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. I'm born ready. <laughs> and that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Okay, let's do it. This way. Been down here before. Are you sure you're okay? I've got my we eye on you. Reugen's brand goes into everything they do. Even the plants in their corporate. That, that thing takes away autonomy by design. The science is intriguing. Ah, but the risks here's my lucky candidate. Terrifying. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Yeah, I'm excited to take part of it. Yes, I always love a willing subject. <laughs> now, <laughs> just do. a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Yeah, he's going to be okay. Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. It's your brain. Do what you want with it. All right. But if you wake up and... <laughs> Listen to Bear in the background. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Oh, right on. Well, well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. Hey, sounds good. So, how are you feeling? You look good? Thank you. Feels feel good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Understood. Temporary, Great. eh? Now let's test this sucker out. Yeah, so Marcus good. has graciously volunteered for science, he says. All right, let's see what it can do. That's the spirit. DeMarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. You appear dehydrated. I suggest the immediate ingestion of a moderate. Oh, appear. Hey, press LB to open your skin or target the person you want to manipulate. Press A to bring up your social skills and select manipulation. 
Once a person has been manipulated, select the object or person you want them to interact with. Okay. There's buddy down there. Diplomacy, instigation, intimidation, manipulation are also skills you can activate while your scanner is up. Over your cursor over the target, press A to bring up your social skills. Select which skill you want them to use with the D-pad. If you fail all social skill, your target will be immune to all future social skill attempts. Okay. Interesting. What's this? What's this? Test room keycard? Hey, go to the door, bud. Oi. Social. Manipulate. Social. Manipulate. Open the door. Bud. Open the door here. Why isn't he opening the door? <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Good that boy. Awesome. Who's a good boy? I just wish only awesome people. <laughs> Stay there. The visual is busy. Fair enough. Wait for it to wear oh off, God. I guess. That was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? Not. One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Didn't feel anything at all. Yes. Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Yeah, it's opened up a lot of possibilities here, bud. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural elm isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being oh. said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. I it sounds enough. like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Roger that. Alright, let's go. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that my latest experiment will be a success. Upstairs. Oh, you two are together, wow. Here. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. 
Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Reugen Industries. Make him wish he never heard of Project Dominion. And wish <laughs> he shall every day while he rots away in prison. All right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Do I have to be attending the meeting? Of course not. The meeting is just a legitimate way in. Once inside, you'll be led to a waiting room where your host will be running late. That's your opportunity to make your way to either the executive floor or R&D. All right, I'll figure it out when I get there. As long as you're prepared when the time comes. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. Yeah, okay. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal NeuroAmp. The public will never know if any LTD successfully stole from Ryujin Industries. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know doesn't hurt them. This is why I prefer science and exploration. Corporate dealings are definitely not for me. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Now that's an idea I can get behind. I've definitely controlled my share of narratives to get a few things done. Now we don't want a mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Yeah, Simon makes sense. Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. That sounds good. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It Beautiful. should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. <laughs> Could have used that a long time ago. <laughs> well, you're still here, so apparently you didn't need it that bad. Once you've wow. run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, Feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. Corporate start for the decade. It certainly will. 
and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? No. Nope. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. Um. Talk to Dalton, okay? Let's do it. They know how. You have the program. Yeah, hope we can find some evidence then the evidence you need. I'm certain Ularu won't pass up this opportunity. So let's take a look. Aha. The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. I'm shocked. I'm going to copy <laughs> the necessary files <laughs> this right on, Barry. to you a new one. <laughs> I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Good. The sooner I can forget about her and all this mess, the better. I was going to frame Sacco, use your overseer program to do it. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. All right, sounds good. Travel to New Atlantis. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my lord, Jim. <laughs> Holy. One bad button after the other there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. There we go. Hey, you might want this. 
Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Alright, we're done. You're clear to leave. Hey, you might want this. Okay, you know what, Barrett? You need to stay here, hey, bud. Now I'm okay, waiting here. Watch yourself. Sure will. You take your easy, bud. Alright, let's check to see what we gotta do here. Let's check it out at the front desk. Use roof access. Corporate headquarters, okay. Everyone's running to UC security, apparently. I don't know what's going on. Let's, um, let's go ahead and put that suit on before we forget new items. ID card, Skylar, Lumen, maintenance passcode, operative helmet, okay, okay. Operative suit, that looks cool. Become 25% hard to detect. How about that? That's pretty awesome. That's a nice looking suit. Secure wing access key. Updated overseer program. Interesting. Um, let's get a different weapon on us. There we go. As it's us, it's suppressed. Just so I don't forget. Uh, commercial district, just in case if we run into some trouble. I don't think we're gonna. Need, I don't anticipate that we're gonna need it here. <laughs> Hopefully, cross our fingers. Okay. Let's go to the front desk here. Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? Yeah, my name is Skylar. I have an appointment with marketing. Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. All right. Nice elevator music you got here. Marketing it is. Okay. Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. That's <clears throat> if you just have a seat, I can notify this <laughs> heart that you've arrived. Okay, over here I guess. What's he doing? Let's go. It's up there. I'll go notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner. Roger that. Get up here. Run the program, look at his computer. I have to go in the elevator. Sabotage the heating system. That yeah, roof access to this. <laughs> sure. What's this? Oh, that that must be the roof access. The uh, the other point. Oh, those are the fans. Oh. Manipulate the guard to turn out the fan, okay. 
and scan. Scan. Manipulate. Switch. Interact with that switch there, bud. Shut the fan off. So I don't hurt myself. <laughs> there we go, nice. Alright, so he's still in my puppet, so we'll try to get through here. Extended May calibrated XM2300 rare pistol. How about that? Sure. Maintenance report. Heating. Critical systems. Heating. Activate system. Yes. Sabotage the heating system. Done. Okay. Gas leak detected. Uh oh. All non essential personnel must evacuate the building. Please find the nearest exit and contact emergency services. Uh oh. Over here. Goodness gracious. Give her a quick save here, just in case. Something like this bad boy. Your program done. Huh? Messages.
It's in the safe. Credits. Space adept. Be fine. Eon, okay? Alright, good stuff. Let's uh, give her a quick save here. Which sure was the one that was I uh, just did there. by this person here. Check the old mission board while we wait. Let it go hidden. Find a way to research development, okay? Research development is downstairs. They'd be that sensitive. Almost fell down that hole. Okay, get somewhere now.
Oh, this is like... Uh-oh. I'm trying to find an elevator. What do you guys think? Is there an elevator around here somewhere? marketing. Marketing. <laughs> oh, I'm in marketing. <laughs> I couldn't... <laughs> that, uh, whatever's going on there is, uh, It's not good. Oh my god. way too fast. Okay. <laughs> I just follow in the blue dot. Just follow in the blue dot, guys. Hope they don't make their way down here. Okay. <laughs> so make your way down this elevator shaft. Can come down here. Get the null. Oh, there's research development, I guess.
Uh oh, turret. So much for trying to be quiet. Station control. I don't know what this is going to do. Do we really need to access this? Access this all? I don't think so. I don't want to waste a uh, digit pick on it. here. Might need to switch to another weapon for now. What's this? R&D ID card, sure. Digipack, cred stick, base computer. Let's try this. Alright, there we go. Workspace. Post mortem. Back to projects. Next up, uh, obtain the narrow man prototype. Okay. Let's open up the safe here. Master. Master infiltrator. Oh, boys.
था if it was a uh, legendary. We made her quite far. Give her a quick save here. A big fan of the uh, thing going on here. Access. Security access controls. Oh, we probably need that to get in here, don't we? Hey, there's a prototype. Deliver the evidence to David Barron. Elevator. Roof access. I'll go out to the special way here. Is it her? Huh? Okay. Good stuff. Deliver evidence to David Barron at the SSN field office. West End discovered, I guess. Never, I guess I didn't know this one. <laughs> okay. Never run into spacers, scumbags, and scavengers. They're like vultures picking a way. You can't go in. You just can't. But David, you know, Derek, can I help you? He writes me. David. I hate to break it to you. We have a new story for you to be interested in. Those cards and headshots. Well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? I came all this way. Uh, if Slate found for yourself the details are on the slate. To hook you up with some merch. I think Infinity of LTDs, growing body count due to unauthorized human trials says it all. You are Corporate production at its highest level. 
All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Never did the say, but everything you need is on this slate. I figured as much. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Anonymous. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> as long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll Perfect. excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. Roger that. All right, to report to Masako. Nice. Let's do it. David Vera is the most famous journalist in this. Yeah, that got hairy really quick. I don't know if I could have got through that without killing at least a couple of them, but... Let me know in the comments if you guys were able to do that <laughs> without killing anyone. But, uh... Yeah. Approaching ship. You've entered free star that elevator free. shaft. I was just following the blue dot there. <laughs> and being shot at the same time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I have something for you. Good stuff. Oh, that's right, Barrett's with us again. Bleeding effect, I guess. I guess I'm bleeding. Executive offices. Let's uh, open up the old menu here. Some antibiotics. There. Oh, next floor. <laughs> I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a bonus <laughs> point on this assignment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't intend for anything to happen. I got the job done, that's all that matters. Did the best I could under the circumstances. Your best is sorely lacking. Oh, All goodness. the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. <coughs> yeah, it was helpful. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. <gasps> so now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board <laughs> meeting oh, scheduled soul. to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Citizens of New Atlantis were shocked today when an unidentified assailant left several dead at the Infinity LTD building. The murders are believed to be linked to oh a my new God. investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily. But I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth 
is about to hit rock bottom. So this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Ryujin buys Infinity LTD and no one loses their job. Quite right. Fair, like that. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. And I thought the Ashtar of Aquila were vicious monsters to be avoided. Sounds like a win-win situation for me. I'm glad we're on the same page. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Don't agree, I'll make sure they listen. Talk to them, but I can't make any promises. Not gonna narrow it at my co-workers. <laughs> Don't be narrow at the board members. <laughs> Good. You'll find most of the board That's members awesome. in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Roger that. There we go, there's sabotage. Holy. Lobby board members, okay. Interesting. All right, so that's that. Uh, that's that one done. Sabotage. It, uh, it did go a little hairy, and uh, I didn't want to kill anyone, but uh, I guess I could have could have used the neural amp. I guess. <laughs> I guess. But uh, what can you do, man? What can you do? Get this good suit out of it. Six thousand credits. Why not? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.